take off. That hit. That's a good hit. Good hit. I'll take four out of six at 300 yards with a handgun any day of the week. What exactly is the FK Bruneau PSD? If you've never heard of it, it is a pistol made to handle the very powerful 7.5 FK round, while giving the shooter the flexibility of also being able to shoot 10mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 9mm out of one pistol so that you are not limited to just the 7.5 FK. The PSD is also a smaller pistol and much more affordable than the field pistol, which was the original pistol chambered in this round. It is also lighter, utilizes a polymer frame, and just overall a more user-friendly pistol than the field pistol was. There are several varieties of the 7.5 FK round, but I'm mainly going to focus on the S95 because it's basically the most common version, but there are even more powerful varieties available. The S95 delivers a 95 grain bullet at 2,000 feet per second out of a 6 inch barrel giving you roughly 850 pounds of energy which is intense especially coming out of a pistol. That's greater energy than 357 Magnum 10 millimeter and can be on par with certain loadings of 44 Magnum and 50 Action Express. The big difference between this round and rounds like 44 Magnum and 50 AE is you're going to hold some of that energy to far greater distances. You're essentially getting near rifle velocities out of a handgun. What that basically translates to is this is a handgun that can be used at far greater distances than any other handgun. So almost immediately we had to see just how far we can shoot the FK Bruneau PSD. 100 and 200 yards are actually remarkably easy and surprisingly little drop. 300 yards is also very achievable, even using just a red dot with no magnification. We had multiple shooters able to make the 300 yard shot. Was also very impressed with the speed the 7.5 FK got to the target. And I was even able to get a few hits out to 400 yards with the FK Bruneau PSD using the S95 loading of the 7.5 FK. Impact. Impact. Yeah, if I had known we were actually going to make that 400 yard shot, I'd have probably painted that target. To me that was extremely impressive. A couple other things that impressed me. You can still hear the plate getting hit with the round very well, meaning it still has some power behind it even at those distances. If you shoot rounds out to their limits, you can just barely hear the impact on the steel. Also just how flat the round is. I was really holding just above the plate to make the hits at 400 yards, and I would say that 200 is basically flat. It is an extremely impressive round. Some features of the gun that help it absorb recoil from the 7.5 FK, most notably is the unique recoil system below the barrel to help tame that round. A barrel swap is also all that is needed to go from 7.5 FK to 10 millimeter, and this is an extremely pleasant shooting 10 millimeter pistol. I would say probably the most enjoyable 10 millimeter pistol that is available today. The recoil system really tames the 10 millimeter round and makes it very pleasant. The grip is very reminiscent of a CZ, which I of course am a fan of, and it makes sense since this gun also originates from the Czech Republic. It's impressive just how many amazing firearms come out of the Czech Republic. The grip feels great in the hand and has a good texture to it. The trigger is single action, has a very crisp pull at just over four pounds. I feel like they intend this to be a duty type pistol and the trigger is exceptional for that. I personally see it as more of a match type pistol and wish the trigger was just a touch lighter, but it definitely gets the job done and is a solid trigger. There is a pick rail under the recoil system so that you can attach a flashlight or any other accessory, but just remember that would make this full on Robocop. The gun feels very well built and very high quality. All the machining is exemplary. 
in the kit I have, I have the 7.5 barrel and the 10 millimeter barrel. I did not get the 9 millimeter barrel. The swap to 9 millimeter also requires a unique recoil spring and 9 millimeter magazines. Where 7.5 FK and 10 millimeter both use the same recoil spring and magazines. So swapping between 7.5 and 10 millimeter is literally just pop one barrel out and insert the other. Golly. While I don't have the 9mm barrel, a good friend at one of the ranges I go to does and absolutely loves this gun. He also has been getting 100% reliability even with 115 grain 9mm ammo, which I know there has been some reports of issues with and even FK Bruno really only recommends 124 grain or plus P for 9mm in this gun. I can only report what he said and in the footage you're watching right now we're actually running his gun in 9mm. Also with 7.5 mags which isn't recommended but as you can see it still works. We're also shooting Callaway Ballistics 115 grain ammo here and as you can see at least in this one gun it is working flawlessly. The FK Bruneau PSD also comes with another set of iron sights, kind of like a ghost ring setup, but I feel if you're really going to take advantage of what the FK Bruneau PSD can do, you really need to put a red dot on it. The PSD also utilizes this very unique mounting system to cover the majority of popular optics on the market. It also keeps them very flush to the top of the slide without the use of plates. The FK Bruneau PSD is a pleasure to shoot and recoil is very manageable even in the powerful 7.5 FK and gets more manageable as you go down to 10 millimeter and it almost makes 9 millimeter feel like you're shooting a 22. Accuracy is quite impressive and accuracy at range with a handgun is nothing but astonishing to me. Overall this gun is just a very pleasant gun to shoot. I'd also like to point out that earlier we compared the 7.5 FK to some of the lighter loadings of 50 AE or 44 Magnum. I will say that this gun with this round has significantly less recoil than either of those rounds in any platform. As cool and as impressed as I am with the FK Bruneau PSD and the 7.5 FK round, I can't help but think what this would be like in a PCC or sub gun. With a little more barrel and a little more gun behind the 7.5 FK, this could truly be an amazing caliber. I'd love to see what someone like CMMG could do with it in a Banshee or BNT in one of their sub guns. Don't get me wrong, I think it's amazing in the PSD, but could potentially be even better in a larger format platform. The FK Bruneau PSD is an amazing pistol. It's fun to shoot, crazy accurate, and all around an impressive offering. When chambered in 7.5 FK, recoil is snappy yet manageable, but the round is intense. In 10mm or 9mm, this becomes a very pleasant gun to shoot, and recoil is what I would call soft and very comfortable. The PSD definitely isn't for everyone, but if you're curious about the 7.5 FK round, it's nice to be able to buy a pistol that can shoot it while not being limited to it. I think it's so smart that they made this with the adaptability to have the flexibility in the calibers so you're not limited to something as unique as 7.5 FK. If you are interested in 7.5 FK, I would highly recommend the Bruneau PSD. Actually, I'd recommend it if it was just in 10mm. It's really one of the better 10mm handguns currently available. It's really just a great pistol with some interesting caliber choices, giving it more versatility than just about any other pistol on the market that I'm aware of. Now for me, I'll be honest, I'm probably going to keep it in 10mm because like I said, one of the best 10mm handguns available and on the rare occasion when I go shooting with someone who is truly interested in 7.5 FK, I'll be able to swap it over. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. As always, we have some really big reviews in the works that you won't want to miss. If you want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you like what we do here on the channel and want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make, and every contribution is greatly appreciated. There is also Alabama Arsenal gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.